What are some things that people flex about but shouldn't? <laughs> I mean, I, I got a number of them. Yeah. But uh, what I've always said before, is like uh, just bragging about how much drinking or weed smoking they do. <laughs> like the, the one part I don't get with that, the bragging, is like, I can drink 30 beers and not get drunk. Why? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? I, I don't know. Just <laughs> like, you know, all right, you're an adult. So, yeah. I mean, it was, it, I guess it was more impressive when you weren't 21 and right. you had access to whatever it was. Because mm-hmm. that that was more the flex about like how you had mm-hmm. access to, you know, and you were young and dumb and everything else. Right. But now that you're an adult, it's like, dude, you're 35. <laughs> and people that you know brag about how much they drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> really? I can drink you under the table. Like, like all right. still? No. Like, yeah, current like, day? Huh? When, current day? I'm saying day? you hear adults, yeah. not my friends. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, but you hear adults who that's will, true. Who will yeah. claim that. And I, th- it's always so pathetic. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather get drunk off one drink. Yeah. Financially. <laughs> <laughs> Financially. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. why do I want to drink 10? Yeah. What a money saver. Yeah. I'm sure Greg's got about 1,000 of them, too. <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Mm-hmm. Would you like me to start? I would. My number one is the type of car you drive. A car doesn't make you cool. Anybody could have that car. I mean, maybe not financially. Sure, sure. But because you have a fast car, a strong car, it doesn't make you fast right. and strong. Right. Your car might be impressive. It doesn't make you impressive. No, it makes them feel impressive. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. shouldn't. Yeah, because yeah, I know Greg at one point, he uh, this is years ago, he had this car. And uh, he got another. Greg has gotten more cars than I, anybody I know in the time mm-hmm. that I've known him. Is it true I, or false? I really, that's true. I he does a lot of cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he, he had gotten a car, and I'm like, wait a minute, didn't you just get a car recently? Oh, How long did you yeah, have that? Yeah, he yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. I just didn't feel good about myself <laughs> driving. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't feel good about myself yeah. driving. <laughs> it didn't make me feel good. And then most recently, uh, I, I had a scratch on the bumper. Yeah. And I had it repainted, and it didn't look quite right. So yeah, like, so he went and got it. Turn this in. <laughs> oh, my I'll God. I'll trade it in. this POS. <laughs> now, to be fair, Greg wasn't uh, flexing about it. I, I just no. noticed he had a different car. I'm like, I thought you just got a car. No? Right, right. It was about cleanliness and aesthetic. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> like it. Yeah. And then another thing, too, and I've only done one cruise in my life, but there's people on cruise ships who flex about how many cruises they've been on. Oh, yeah. They, they, uh, they make such a big deal out of like it. Like medallions. Yeah, and... I'm a silver member. Oh, I'm only a blue member. <laughs> well, I've done 900 cruises. I'm a double, triple, <laughs> diamond, <laughs> platinum. Okay. You yeah. get a lot Good of cool you. stuff, though. Yeah, your perks. You know, if you're, because my aunt, you if she's cruising, she's the person that's cruised the most on any cruise she goes on. She <laughs> gets, like, way upgraded sweets, uh-huh. all this free alcohol. It's <laughs> worth it yeah <laughs> and i'm I mean, like you should flex dolores <laughs> yeah flex. So, flex on them hoes. is that's it kind of like dolores you flex <laughs> yeah. is it kind of like being like an american airlines platinum yeah you know? pretty it's much even yeah better than that what greg is trying to say is congratulations you spent the most money right and you went on <laughs> yeah. a lot of cruises dolores which does sound awesome yeah flex I mean, it sounds nice there, there are people fl- who's the uh who's the listener that we all tony is his yeah name? tony he, this guy, I'm like, do you work? Because he's like, up oh, leaving for whatever this trip. He's this guy. He's oh, probably he's got that constantly. Oh, maybe he does that status because this guy's always to. on a cruise. Yeah. Always he has to have it, and it's not even a flex. It's just like it seems like almost every time he's hitting us up, it's like, well, well, oh, I just did a cruise. Yeah. I just got back from a trip to wherever, and I, I'm leaving on Saturday for right. what? Yeah. Like, where, where do you, you work? You win like, the lottery. Do you work? What do you do? I know. I know. What did you inherit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, there's the other people, and I'll add this to the list because I already see it uh, coming in on the text. Uh, 812 saying, working a ridiculous amount of hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like you take pride in I worked 15 in. hours today. I'm not saying they're, they're, you can't take pride in being a hard worker or having work ethic, but there are some people I think that really um, – they get off on the idea that right. no they're work, work-life balance. I work eighty hours. Work with, great. It just sounds like you're you know, good on you. Yeah, there's sounds maybe like I knew someone like that. Early. What's that? So I wish I knew someone like that. I know what you're trying to say, and I'm not. I'm not like that. Used to be. He was that guy. Not long ago, it was. I get here at one a.m. I don't leave till one p.m. Well, he that, used yeah, to be we, that guy. We were discussing our. That's, that wasn't a flex. Uh, it, was, uh, it was. It was tossed around in cash mm-hmm. conversation. Mm, okay. And on the air. Yeah. You used to be that guy. Thank you, Ravy. Uh, it, it has, it's been a while, but you were that guy. I don't feel like I was that guy. Mm. We can agree. We, we called it at the time. <laughs> hey, look, we're glad you came around. Yeah. Definitely glad you came around. Yeah, uh, Menace. 
I would say how much debt you're in. Now, when I was younger, it was all like flex on that. No, people would flex like, well, um, my college debt is everyone was always trying to outdo each other yes. on the amount of debt okay. yeah. that they were they in, racked up in college. until they got older and realized, wait, this actually sucks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like they would say, oh, I'm 100,000 in. Oh, I'm 50,000 in. Yeah. Um, well, and, people do that on a lot of weird things. Like yeah. we, we mentioned that, like uh, no matter where you go. Everybody, mm. I don't care. You could live in a town of 30 people and people mm. there are complaining about the traffic. Like, oh, traffic here is horrible. No matter what city, everybody has to bitch about their traffic. And then whoever's in the conversation, oh, well, I live in mm. Chicago. And in Chicago, the traffic, like, oh, well, I live in New York and the traffic, yeah. I live in LA and the traffic is this. Oh, I live in, you know, Wichita, the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like everybody <laughs> thinks that their traffic is the worst traffic. Uh-huh. I mean, I know you think in LA, yeah. traffic is one thing, but dude, but look at this. Worry, stop yeah. lights. As I got older, though, Nashville with, traffic these days, man. The, the college stuff turned into real estate. Well, I'm this much in the hole in real estate. Like, how, yeah. you know, how big my loan is and things right. like that. And uh-huh. people like would try to outdo each other. I'm like, why? <laughs> outdo yeah. daddy. That's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird thing <laughs> to try to outdo I know. someone yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, 877 44. What are you speaking of outdoing? Let's go to uh, Brandon. Hey, good morning, hey, Brandon. Brandon. Hey, now. What's hey, up, now. man? All right. So things that people flex about but shouldn't. Uh, from a guy's perspective, I hate when, I've always hated when dudes flex about the number of sexual partners they had. Like, ever since, like, I was a young age, like, yeah, it's bothered. Like, I, I just I just like to want to smack the hell out of them when they do that. Like, I wish we knew somebody and... like that. Well, he's just saying he hates it. Right. Right. Yeah. He says wish, he hates I it. I don't know anybody. But he's not he's saying jealous. why. Like that. He's not well, saying gentlemen, why. Gentlemen, he's not saying why that's bad. He just says he hates them and he's jealous of them and wants to hit them. So why is that a bad thing, sir? Uh, I don't know, dude. I can't, I just, it's just, it's just, it's just been a bothersome for me for some reason. What's okay. your number? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I would say cause it's kind of tacky. Uh, I don't... It's tacky and it's probably not even true. But I'm I saying, mean, it's... isn't it locker room talk? That's true. Yeah. So, yeah I mean, and, and if it's, and I think to a certain, up. to a certain degree, like at a certain age, mm-hmm. you know, like, I, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think it ever stops. You don't? No. Yeah, it always rules. Yeah, I mean, I know, <laughs> besides Seabass, I know some other, like, single dudes, and you don't really, I mean, you hear, like, oh, yeah, I went out with this chick, or I'm seeing this chick, or whatever, but it's not like, you know, they're not, they're not talking about being, you know, master swordsmen or slam masters. Well, maybe or, you they know. aren't slamming. Yeah. I said, other than, uh, you know, other than Seabass here. Hmm. I still haven't heard why it's a hey, bad thing. Hey, Woody. We're... Yeah, what? Hey, Woody. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just gonna say I've always I, I've always had that one thing in common with you, dude. Like, I never, I never was one to subscribe to promiscuous sex. Yeah. I've always well, had to, felt the whole connection. It sounds it, like it, this it, dude it, has some it, issues. Also, Brandon. also, it's a big regret in my life. It's a big regret in my life. I turned down that threesome. That was dumb. Yeah, feelings, schmeelings. Yeah, also, uh, you know, uh, the whole guilt <laughs> around like the idea of like a one-night stand. That was stupid. That's dumb. Agreed. Yeah, that was, that was dumb. You should but change Brandon, your perspective you. and see how you feel. Yeah. I think there's just a lot of things at a certain point. Like, like at what age do you age out of being able to brag about certain things? You know, without it being tacky or like, just I don't know. It's embarrassing. I mean, I think in it's, a way, it's like embarrassing. You're not just sitting in a job interview and saying, "By the way, by the way, yeah. I'm slamming people. like yeah. crazy." Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Jeremy. Hey, good morning, Jeremy. 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 Good morning, Woody Show. Morning. All right. So, what are things that people flex about but shouldn't? Uh, when people brag about meeting either like celebrities or actors. They bra- like they brag about like their best friends like oh I met this one guy and he seemed really cool it's like I don't see that as an achievement or something anyone should really brag about. Uh, yeah, you're talking more about like name dropping. Yeah, like oh uh, oh like I met Adam Sandler or oh, I met this uh, celebrity with LeBron James you know somebody like. Rich is famous and they're like they think they're best friends like oh I met this guy I met uh, this guy yeah, and you know. Like, we we did we did that sarcastically uh, at one point. I forget where where they went to eat. Oh, Somebody I know. Uh, it was a Greg mm-hmm. or who was that? It was Madison Raby and right. they quote had lunch with Minnie Driver. We had, oh yeah, had, yeah, we had breakfast. With <laughs> it was a fun <laughs> running joke. <laughs> I, it was I, a I joke. just said yeah. it was yeah. yeah. So but like that was the thing. It's like they uh, they went to some place for lunch or whatever, and <laughs> Minnie Driver was there. Be. Yeah, uh, and so oh yeah, we had lunch with Minnie Driver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anytime a celebrity is like at a restaurant that we're at, yeah. we were eating say, with. We had lunch with them. We had. Lunch with the uh, McLovin ones. That's right. We had oh, sushi with right. McLovin. Right. Yeah, well, I, you know I had sushi that same place with uh, yeah. Tom Morello. Oh wow! Right. Mm-hmm. Yep, 
and yeah. uh, what's her name from the office? Rashida who I thought Jones. Rashida Jones yeah. was oh, a total yeah, that, bitch. That rat. Right. Oh my god! Not to me. I was Mega over. Rat. We we were literally like within arm's reach of her table. Right. My wife and I were sitting there. She was at the table right next to us, and her friend was like so nice. And it was like I guess Rashida's birthday, and she had brought her a gift. And Rashida was just in this mood, and she was like a total bitch to her friend. We felt so bad for her friend. She was a rotten person, and just ragging. Never, never been able to hear her name or see her on the office without thinking about that. Yeah, but I, Sheeta. yeah, and Jeremy, thanks for the call. But like, um, I like the people who you maybe met somebody once, and then they start talking about them just using like uh, their first name. It's very casual. Mm. Like, mm. oh yeah, so we saw Rashida at, and then you're like, who? No. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Oh, Rashida Jones. Oh, that's because they, you, they, you you want them to say who? Like Rashida who? Oh, Rashida Jones. Mm. Like it's so casual and like whatever to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, like those those types of name droppers I find to be obnoxious. All right, so uh, what are some things people flex about but shouldn't? Seabass. Where they're from slash where they were born. Yes. It, unless it was the zoo, <laughs> there are probably Space. and definitely <laughs> millions of people who did it. Yeah. I stay repping. And, and it's, just, it's just not <laughs> interesting. I get that, you know, it's carton arcs or whatever. Like, oh, I was born in Brooklyn. Yeah, so were cool. millions of other people. <laughs> yeah. We played that clip. I think it was from the Real Housewives of Atlanta or some other one of those hood shows where the chick's like, oh, man, yeah. I'm from Chattanooga, bitch. I'm like, who cares? Chattanooga? <laughs> How? I what? think you're not presenting it fully. You're like, when somebody's in a scuffle and they go, you don't want to mess with me because I'm from. Well, such a and scuffle such place, is yeah. where it comes out, especially. But yeah. I will throw that to anything in the world. Yeah, I'm from. Who cares? Yeah, I'll, I'll put up there too, like just your nationality. Like you had no choice in that. Yeah, who? Why, so you're flexing. You're flexing about something you were just kind of born into. Neat. Yeah. Uh, neat. Yeah. Cool. Way to way, go. <laughs> way to go. I don't get it. But uh, is it okay in a conversation? Because that's usually how I start a conversation, just asking somebody where they're from. Because well, no, know, that's, well, that's interesting to like talk about, you know, because you might have things to talk about. Yeah. Right. But people use it again. I'm just offering it. Yeah, up. right. Right. Offering yeah. up as again for the purpose of this conversation, a quote flex. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And it's not. That says nothing cool about you. Let's go to uh, Leah. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All, right. All right. So, what do you got for us? When you go out with a group of people that. You really don't know, but they continuously brag about the amount of crap that they did in college that ended them ended them up in jail, or that uh, the amount of like drugs that they tried in college. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, well, that that goes back to like uh, the glory days of high school. You know, like whatever you accomplished in high school, and you're still talking about it as an adult. Same kind of thing. Like there are some people, man. Like I know, and they're pushing fifty, mm. but man, do they talk about college? <laughs> Almost every conversation somehow weaves back to college, something that happens in college. Mm. Hey, did you know I graduated from wherever college? Oh, you know, so I went to what I got it. I, I, I've heard the story a thousand times. Yeah. But it all, like, for some reason, man, they're just like, it's arrested development. Right. That's where they're stuck. Yeah. I think high school's worse, though. You do? I, when people I, talk about high school? Yeah. Yeah. At 50? At f- yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Unless you're talking if with your high it, school friends. Right. We, you were class president. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. A hundred what years you, ago. Yeah, what are you doing now? Oh, Walmart greeter. Yeah, neat. That worked out well. All right, Leah, thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Bye. Show. Uh, what about you, Sammy? Something that people flex about but shouldn't. Not going to the doctor. People who are like, oh, yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> I've been in pain for seven years, but I just stick it out. It's like, maybe you should get that checked <laughs> out. <That's> true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a weird one. Yeah, I've never understood that. So many people do that, too, when they yeah. complain. Yeah. You're like, well, have you gone to the doctor? Oh, no, no. that's yeah. just how it is. Yeah. Right. That's just my life. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, board, I'm on board now with Ravy. There was a, a co-worker uh, who used to work here, doesn't work here anymore, um, and was fat, you know, and all of a sudden discovered the gym. Yes. Right. Yeah. Every post. Every oh. post. If it's not it's in the gym. It's trying to be like inspirational. Yeah. 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 If it's not in the gym, it's a pose. Same right. stupid pose. Same, same pose. pose. Yeah. Literally Kind of arms like out to the side. Like Looks like he's pooping. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Uh, like yes. that pose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leaning forward and going. Uh. Yeah. So I, I would say like the, the gym rats. Yeah. yeah. You know. Like we're happy for you. Yeah. You've lost all kinds right. of weight. You look, you look, you look terrific. Good. Yeah, that's that, and that's another one of the uh, the one the one up the one upsman thing. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. You know the uh, the health people. You know, like I could talk about how oh I've been trying to eat better right. or whatever, mm-hmm. and how it's never good enough. We brought that up. Like mm-hmm. oh, 
You should be eating bananas. Right. Oh, well, right. I was eating cookies yesterday. Do you, but do you know the carb content of bananas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, nothing. Well, you know, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm currently eating clean. Right. You know, mm. and they go into all their, you know, their stuff about, you know, uh, nothing processed. macros and yeah. what else. be sharing that stuff. It's like, okay, dude, exactly. I, I housed a whole sleeve of Oreos just the other day, and today I'm having a banana. That's a step. That's a step in the right that's direction. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> like, let's just be happy with this step. And once we get down to, like, really getting granular on the whole thing, I'll come find you. Right. And, and, and we can chat about that. Yeah. Well, you know, you're wasting your time on an elliptical, man. Yeah. It's not okay. exercise. Well, I was also wasting my time hours on end on a couch. Which just, was just way better. There. Yeah, mm. and then would stand up and way be more, like yeah. real stiff just from <laughs> sitting. Well, getting up is hard. So uh, yeah, I think the elliptical is probably yeah. a probably a solid a solid improvement. Yes. Probably. I think so. There are some cakes in the studio. I yes. know mad so cakes. So many. Yeah, I got three cakes sitting over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, text reminded me of something that I think Woody and Ravy are guilty of flexing okay. about, All and right. I want to know if Menace would back me up on this because <laughs> okay. I think. We've witnessed it together. Okay. When you say to somebody, depending on where you are geographically, oh my God, it is so cold here. And then you guys go, this isn't cold, please. It's not cold. Oh, well, well that's just a billion, hashtag, like, well, a fast. A billion percent. Well, well I'm cold. Yeah. And well, it's cold. Not cold. And you're For like, two well, people. Where we grew up, it was way colder than this. This isn't cold. <laughs> well, like, I mean, okay, it, me. Yeah. The I'm difference glad between you're somebody cold. in Florida saying cold and somebody in, say, New mm. York saying cold, those are two different yeah. things. Sure, but if it's 30 degrees, it's it's cold. Okay, but you yeah. were cold at like 55. Yeah, that's true. I almost died. <laughs> yeah, at 55. I hate it. And that's, yeah, that's not true. cold. I thought I, I was going to have a heart attack. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Vincent says how much they can eat without gaining weight. We all hate you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Christy says, working in healthcare. You know, other people have jobs too that are pretty difficult. Mm. Uh, Ken says, how much they paid for their dog. Yeah. Uh, Who the hell would brag about that? (laughs) Things that people flex about but shouldn't. Some people. And there's a number of these, um, like having a college degree while working the same job at the same pay as someone who doesn't have a degree. Yes. It's like you're bragging about this. Or you make even less than the person who Mm -hmm. doesn't have the degree. Uh, It doesn't always equate to... You know, being better off. Yeah. Uh, Ruby says, people that say they drink their coffee black. Oh. People flex about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I drink my coffee black. Huh. I don't take cream and sugar. Okay. Yeah. Like, I built my own deck. Coffee. I'm a real man. Mm. Coffee, yeah. flexors. coffee flex. Coffee right. flexors. Coffee uh, flexors. Andrew <laughs> says, celebrating their birthday for a month. Who does that? Oh, hell yeah. Veronica's got a good it. one. Getting a tax refund. Oh, because you're supposed to like, That's I mean, if you're money. doing it right, it's, yeah, it's, it's your money. Yeah, because the government's people, holding on to your money right. interest free. Yep. For all this time. And people think it's just a gift. Yeah. I mean, look, no, it's, it's like, awesome it's when you get money. one. But the the idea is to like, and here's the thing. I'd rather be owed than owe. Of course. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, like I'd, I'd rather things be on that side of of the equation. Yeah. But uh, if I can get it pretty close to zero, that would be. That's winning. That would be winning, yeah, exactly. Or not having to do taxes. Uh, That's would be winning. winning. Ethan's got another one. Never having to change a diaper as a father. You know, I never uh, change a diaper. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Lucky. Uh, Brian says, people who say they work smarter, not harder, just means that you're cutting corners and demonstrates lack of motivation, laziness, and entitlement. Sure, I like work to be easy, too, but easy isn't always better. Those same people expect to get rewarded for working the easy way. Absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is absolutely true. Like, people aren't willing to do things the right way or to a, a thorough degree just enough so it passes the inspection. Yeah. You know? How about the okay. right way, but just smarter? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if the, Always looking for if ways the to end result, better. if the end result right. is the same, but there are people, you know, uh, is it good? No, it's good mm-hmm. enough. Right, you know, mm-hmm. and, that's true. Yeah, and uh, but at the, the same time, those are the people who will then complain if they're passed up for or, a promotion, yeah, yeah, for a promotion mm-hmm. or they don't advance, or they don't end up making any more money. And uh, you know, like, well, okay, well, you're not you're not willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah. True, so I agree with that. Uh, eight seven seven forty four. What? Oh yeah, weird flex. Those uh, flex. Those parents that uh, put the my child is a whatever uh, at school <laughs> bumper <laughs> Honor roll in Honor elementary roll. school. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Or even the ones on the back of the car that just display how many people are in their family. Right. Mm. You know? Hell yeah. Like a cute way Three of kids, uh, stick figures. A dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a-